Hey guys, what is going on? It's GMXB1, and um, I want to say another big thanks. I've got more subscribers coming in. Thanks very much, guys. I know you've been watching the other videos because all the views have gone up. So uh, I've got two pieces of news today, one for the uh, PS4 side and one for the Xbox One side. Now I'm going to talk about the um, DirectX 12 in the Xbox One. Um, um, I found an article on Gaming Bolt, it is, and uh, what it says... DirectX 12 to allow better use of CPU cores, Xbox One already has similar API for feeding up, freeing up CPU. So as you know, since Microsoft first revealed, DirectX 12 is set to release in holidays 2015 for the Xbox One and PC. Its graphics and the API has faced some sort of scrutiny. Would it be able to speed up the Xbox One CPU significantly or simply allow for more efficient hardware speeds? Confetti CEO and co-founder Wolfgang Engel gave his thoughts on the same. The name may sound familiar, but Engel worked as a lead graphics programmer for Rockstar's Rage Group, implementing graphics for titles like GTA 4, Red Dead Redemption, Midnight Club Los Angeles, and many more. Engel has since gone on to form Confetti, a middleware company that specializes in developing solutions for global illumination, Skydome, and PostFX systems and has consulted and worked on several other big name releases besides aiding studios in better understanding and implementing graphical techniques. So what he's basically saying is, regarding DirectX 12, um, I like it, it's great and it's a fantastic opportunity to raise the bar again. It works with the same piece of hardware, so it's the same CPU and the same GPU, and certainly we have much more CPU time to spend. As he goes on to say the workload on the CPU decreases substantially because you can utilize better the cores of the CPU. In this way, you are less likely to be CPU limited. One of the cool features of modern games is that we have physics and they have been traditionally implemented on the CPU. And as a game developer, you have to go back and ask, do I have to spend 40% of my CPU time on rendering or can I reduce this so that I can use it for physics? And this is one of the things that DirectX 12 allows you. This makes sure that the developers can get more out of the existing hardware. AMD's mantle is going uh, in the same direction and has the same structural idea, reducing CPU time so that it can be free up for other tasks. One CPU usage case is multiple GPU setups, which is a kind of interesting development because when you have multiple GPUs, say you've got two GPUs, you would not expect to be actually CPU limited. But now the CPU has to feed two GPUs, which are really fast, suddenly your CPU becomes the bottleneck. DirectX 12 and Mantle are resolving that situation. So it says there, there are plenty of similarities between DirectX 12 and Mantle, but what about their um, respective advantages? The advantage of Mantle is that it's able to squeeze out a few more cycles from the AMD platforms. The advantage of DirectX 12 is that it runs on all GPUs. So as you know, we know that DX12 will have a fairly strong impact on PC games when it launches late next year, but will it have the same technical impact on the Xbox One? Um, the Xbox One, if you didn't know, already has an API which is similar to DirectX 12, so Microsoft implemented a driver that is similar to DirectX 12 already on the Xbox One. That freed up a lot of CPU time. Now, as you know, because it's been released next year, I wonder if we'll see... Um, Direct says um, X12 helping to run Halo 5, um, Halo 5 Guardians, we'll have to wait and see on that, but I am looking forward to um, doing a bit more research into this Direct X12 and what it is actually about more, so yep, yeah. anyway another story now is on, is on the Sony side, now as you know in September the uh, Xbox One is being released in China, now it's just been announced uh, yesterday or today, that um, Sony partners with Shanghai Oriental Pearl to launch PlayStation in China. So after Microsoft disclosed its plans to launch Xbox One in China, Sony is following suit, having signed a deal with Shanghai Oriental Pearl Group to launch PlayStation in the country. And this was announced today by the um, Chinese company. Shanghai Oriental Pearl Culture Development Company Limited and Sony China Company Limited are wholly owned Chinese subsidiary of Sony Corporation, signed a joint venture agreement in the Chinese free trade zone and jointly funded a joint venture po um, responsible for the for the production, marketing, Sony Computer Entertainment, PlayStation hardware, software and related services business in China. So uh, the two companies formed will be Shanghai Oriental Pearl Solitube Cultural Development Company Limited, the capital of which will be formed by a 51% investment from Shanghai Oriental Pearl 
and a 49% investment from Sony China. Sony will invest 70% of the capital of the second company, which will be named Sony Computer Entertainment Shanghai, uh, while Shanghai Oriental Pearl will pinch the remaining 30%. So the total investment for Sony Corporation in the joint venture is RMB. Um, it's looking at um, 1318.9 million, which translates into slightly south of about $211.5 million. The announcement did not disclose the specific PlayStation consoles uh, that were launched in China, but it did include the mention that the operation will involve local game developers in order to fuel the production of original games for PlayStation platforms and to promote the growth of the Chinese video game industry. So we're going to see uh, Sony being um, releasing in China, but a Japanese company doing well in China? You don't know. It could happen. Um, I'm looking forward to see how the, how, how the X1 does over there uh, with these sales. And as you know, on June the 9th, the X1 is dropping the Kinectless Xbox One. So I'm just going to wait for Tuesday now. I'm going to wait for Watch Dogs. I've been seeing a lot of um, cats streaming on Twitch and, and, and YouTube. And as I said in the other video, it looks exactly the same. No problems at all. But I am going to get it on the X1. Uh, as you know, I am new to PS4. So uh, I've got more friends on, on, on the X1 side. So yeah, so that's all for today. So thanks for watching, guys. And stay, stay tuned for more vids. Peace out. Keep it gaming.